Why does a demand curve slope downwards? The prime reasons are operation of the law of diminishing marginal utility in consumption, income effect, substitution effect. Let us examine them one by one. Look at this table. This is a utility schedule. As the consumer consumes more units of a commodity, he gets less and less marginal utility. And based on this law, we are going to derive the demand schedule. To begin with, let us assume the price of the product the consumer is consuming is 15 rupees. At this price, the consumer consumes 2 units of the commodity because only when he consumes the second unit, he is able to equate marginal utility with price. He is in equilibrium. The implication is, at 15 rupees price, the consumer buys two units of the commodity. So this is a piece of information we need to construct our demand schedule and it is shown separately in the demand schedule. Let us assume the price has fallen to 10 rupees. Now the consumer's equilibrium is disturbed. His marginal utility is 15 whereas his price is 10. The consumer is not in equilibrium. To establish equilibrium, he has to reduce the marginal utility. This is possible only when he increases the consumption. He goes for the third unit and he equates marginal utility with price and he is in equilibrium. This is another piece of information we need for our demand schedule. At 10 rupees price, the consumer buys 3 units. Let us assume the price falls to 5 rupees. Once again, there is a disturbance in the consumer's equilibrium. His marginal utility is 10, whereas his price is 5 rupees. He has to establish equilibrium. That he can do by consuming one more unit. He consumes the fourth unit. He reduces the marginal utility and he equates the marginal utility with price. It means he buys 4 units at 5 rupees price. This is shown in the demand schedule. Now observe the demand schedule. This demand schedule is derived based on the information we get from the utility schedule. Look at the demand schedule. At a higher price, the consumer buys less. At a lower price, the consumer buys more. This is in accordance with the law of demand. Thus, the law of demand is based on the law of diminishing marginal utility. Operation of the law of diminishing marginal utility in consumption 
becomes one of the reasons for the demand curve to slope downwards from left to right. Students shall use the same analysis starting from the lowest price and improve their understanding. Graphically also we can explain the same thing. Look at this graph. The marginal utility curve is sloping downwards from left to right. It shows the marginal utility diminishes with every increase in consumption. To begin with, let the price be P3. The consumer is in equilibrium at E3. He equates price with marginal utility. He consumes M1 quantity of a commodity. P3 M1 is on the marginal utility curve and at the same time it is on the demand curve. It means at P3 price consumer is willing to buy M1 quantity Price falls to P2. Now, marginal utility is greater than price. The consumer is not in equilibrium. To be in equilibrium, he has to increase his consumption. Now he consumes M2 quantity of a commodity and be in equilibrium at E2. At P2 price, consumer buys M2 quantity. It is a point again on the demand curve. Let us assume the price falls to P1. The consumer increases consumption to M3 and be in equilibrium at E1. E1 is a point on the demand curve. It means at P1 price, consumer buys M3 quantity. E3, E2, E1 are the points lying on the demand curve as well as on the marginal utility curve. It shows as the price falls, the consumer buys more and more of a particular commodity. So, the marginal utility curve is the same as demand curve. From this we can understand the demand curve slopes downwards from left to right because of the operation of law of diminishing marginal utility in consumption. Income effect is another reason for the negative slope of the demand curve. When the price of a commodity falls, the real income of the consumer increases. It enables him to buy more of the same commodity. Let us understand this with the help of a numerical example. Consumer's income is 100 rupees. Now look at the initial price table. At 20 rupees price, the consumer buys 5 units of the commodity. He spends 100 rupees on that. Now the price falls to 10 rupees. The consumer manages to buy 10 units with the help of the same amount. How this becomes possible? It's enough if he spends 50 rupees to buy the same 5 units as before. But he has got a surplus of 50 rupees more 
with the help of that 50 rupees he buys another 5 units of the same commodity thus the increase in the real income of the consumer makes the consumer to buy more of the commodity after a fall in the price of the commodity this is how income effect becomes one of the reasons for the demand curve to slope downwards substitution effect substitution effect is also a reason for the indirect relation between price and quantity demanded when the price of a commodity falls it becomes relatively cheap the relative cheapness induces the consumer to substitute this commodity in the place of the other commodity he buys more after a fall in its price now let us try to understand this also with the help of a numerical example consumer's income in this case is rupees 200 look at the initial price table according to this table the consumer is consuming two goods good x and good y at 20 rupees price he buys 5 units of good x at 20 rupees price he buys 5 units of good y this is his initial stand look at this after a fall in the price the price of good x falls from 20 rupees to 10 rupees but the price of good y doesn't change good x has become relatively cheap now this makes the consumer to buy 12 units we have to account for the increase in the quantity demanded of good x 5 units of x he already purchased another 5 units due to income effect this 2 unit he substitutes 2 units of x in the place of 1 unit of y he sacrificed the purchase of 1 unit of y and divert the 20 rupees to buy 2 units of x. Thus he manages to buy 12 units of good x after a fall in the price. Substitution effect also thus becomes one of the reasons for the demand curve to slope downwards from left to right. Apart from the already stated reasons, there are three more reasons. New consumers. When the price of a commodity falls, new consumers will start preferring the commodity. When they join hands with the existing consumers, the demand for the commodity will go up and that contributes to the negative slope of the demand curve. Multiple uses. When the price of a product is very high, people will buy and put them to most important uses. When the price of the product falls, they will start buying the product in large quantities and they will start putting them to less important uses also. And this makes the product to be demanded in large quantities when its price falls. Geometrical necessity. Only a curve of a downward sloping in nature alone will be fit enough to show a negative relation between price and quantity demanded. No other shape of a curve will be good enough to show such a relation. So, a geometrical necessity also contributes to the negative slope of the demand curve.